As an entrepreneur, I know you've taken the time to write articles and eBooks and PDFs and some really cool word-based things for your clients, but not every client is going to learn via reading. Some of them are going to want to hear the things instead of read the things in order to learn best for them, which means you have the ability to now create audio files that people can then learn from based on the articles and the things that you've written inside of your business. But wouldn't it be really nice if those things were not read in some robotic AI voice, but rather your voice? But I know as an entrepreneur, you're incredibly busy, so we're about to save you a little bit of time. There is a program called Descript, I'm gonna link it down below for you, I am blown away by it, that actually learns from your voice. You can import audio files or you can read a script and then from then on, it has the ability to take your voice, the way that you speak, the way that you sound, and read text that you're inputting into the system. That means every article, that means every PDF, every ebook you can create can have audio files related to it. Now the inflection is not gonna be exactly like yours, but it will sound like your voice. So we're going to take a look at how you can be doing this and transcribing your audio or your articles into audio so that you can use these inside of your business as a podcast or as an audio file or as a bonus download in your newsletter. There's unlimited possibilities for this one. So let's take a look at how to do this inside of Descript. Now, once you are in Descript, you are going to need the section of Descript called Overdub. So we're gonna go down on that left-hand side panel to Overdub. This is one of their fancier features. And from there, you're going to create your voice. You're gonna go up to that blue button at the top right-hand corner. You're gonna click on that. You're going to label this as test for now. And then it's going to take us over to the section where we have the ability to upload our files. So this is going to be really important. You want to make sure you are using audio files from where you typically record. So if you're typically live streaming, you're going to want to use those live stream audio files to drag and drop into their section here. If you do podcasts and use a fancy microphone, you're going to want to use the podcast episodes. If you are using a camera to do YouTube videos, you're going to want to do that. But make sure there's no background noise. So we don't want music behind our talking. I tested that. It doesn't work. You want to make sure it's a quiet room. You don't want a lot of like external noises because it will pick all those things up and use it within that transcription that it's creating for you. So you are going to drag and drop your audio files here. If you do not have any, you will be able to record some here. They'll give you a test script so that you can go through it. They want a minimum 10 minutes of video, um, audio or video that you can then input so it can learn from. I recommend doing more. If you can do 30 or 60 minutes, that's going to be incredibly helpful. And it takes time for them to transcribe this and to learn your voice. Mine took 24 hours to learn. So by the next day, you'll have that. From there, you're going to submit the data training. It does require you to read that to certify it really is you and you're not trying to deep fake anybody else's voice. And you are then going to be able to move forward from that. Within 24 hours, you'll be ready to go. I'm going to hit the back button. You can see I have created several types of this. The failed training here was where I had one with music just to see what it would do. The rest of them are me doing live book readings and my podcast episodes. I like when I've listened to them. I liked the one of me reading the best. So that's going to be the one that I am going to work with. And then from there, we're going to come over to our home tab and click on a new project. And I am going to say book reading test for us. I'm going to create this project. And from here, I am then going to be able to paste in. This is actually the prologue to one of my novels. So we're going to take a look at this because I kind of like how this one sounds. So this is that from there. I would read it a little bit differently than this is going to read it. Now, if you look at the bottom, we've got the timeline here. It has processed the words that I put on there. And as soon as we start to see the little sound waves, that means it has processed the thing in full and it's ready to read it. So I'm going to read it for you and then it's going to read it for you. So I would say, he was a force of nature. He could warm your soul like the sun and bury you in ice the next second. He was more destructive than any universal element has ever been or could ever be. It was his way to be like a hurricane crashing upon the shores or lightning splintering everything in its path. He was a force, but he was my force. And in the end, it didn't matter because he disappeared just like the weather always does here for one brief moment and gone the next. His name was Jack and his love for me was like a flood now frozen over. Now, if you liked that, that's The Conspiracy of Jack Frost by K.M. Robinson. You can grab it now. It's a Jack Frost twisted retelling. But that is how I would read it. So we've got a little bit of inflection there. We've got a lot of things that are important when doing like an audio book. But if I were doing this as an article that I was putting out, this is actually going to work really well. So take a look at the left-hand side of this. It's going to say speaker. When you tap on that, 
You can then go down and pick which voice you're going to do this from. And you can see how down on my timeline, it turned everything pink. That means it's processing. And in just a minute, it is going to put those sound waves on there. Once the sound waves are there, then we're going to be able to play. So you can actually kind of see the process as it's going through how all these things are going to be read. And we are just waiting for this to finish. Sometimes it does take a little bit of a minute if it's a little longer, but you can see how it's downloading that media now. And they are using this based on all those files that I have uploaded. So you can see how it's kind of slowly going through that. It's adding it to the rest of it. And you can see each individualized word is there. If you need to make corrections or whatever you need to do, you have the ability to edit some of this if you need to tweak it. But you can kind of see how that's ready to go now. So I'm going to put my cursor at the beginning of this, and I'm going to hit the play button to show you how it sounds. He was a force of nature. He could warm your soul like the sun and then bury you in ice the next second. He was more destructive than any universal element has ever been or can ever be. It was his way to be like a hurricane crashing upon the shores or lightning splintering everything in its path. He was a force, but he was my force. And in the end, it didn't matter because he disappeared, just like the weather always does. Here for one brief moment and gone the next. His name was Jack and his love for me was like a flood, now frozen over. So you can kind of see it's got some gaps in there that I wouldn't have had. You can actually go in and you can tweak those things. But it was a pretty good representation. Like that was very clearly my voice, my inflection, not so much. So as an author, my intent would be to use this to create my own audiobooks. Currently, it's not up to where audiobooks would be. So I'm not going to use it for audiobooks in the moment, but I will definitely use it for my articles. Now, this is going to be a really nice bonus because I can then, anytime I have an article, I can add in an audio file. So if they don't want to read it all, they can listen to it and get the same kind of information. So this is going to be really, really helpful for those bonuses. This is also really nice if you want to include it as a bonus for signing up for your newsletter or special things that you want to send out for this. So I absolutely love this. And of course, you've got the ability to add your voices in and you can do all of the extra things here as well. They do give you the ability to kind of um, do track changes, as we call it, inside of the author world where you can go into a, like a Word document or a Google Doc and you can type back and forth so that you can share a project and tweak anything needed. So if you are working on this with a team, this is going to be really good for that. You then, of course, have the ability to shorten your word gaps. So you can actually change the timing if it's too fast or too slow. You can change those things. You can take out filler words if you have typed in filler words or if you're using that in the video format. You can even add in and change things. So if you didn't like the way that it said something specifically, like I didn't particularly love that, I could record audio and add that in there and fix it. So all I would have to do is re-record that line. He was a force. And now it's going to transcribe that and add it right in. And then I can actually remove that from the actual version of this. And you can kind of see how that works. Now, keep in mind, if you are recording and adding things in like I just did, it needs to be in the same setting as where you did that. So if you filmed from a live stream, imported that audio, and that's where it learned from, it's going to have the buzz of the computer and the atmosphere. If you then have your computer whirring very loudly, it might sound a little bit different. So let's actually take a look at what this sounds like. This way, to be like a hurricane crashing upon the shores or lightning splintering everything in its path. He was a force, but he was my force. And in the end, it so you can see, because it took me a minute to actually do that, it picked up a lot of the extra noise. So we would need to then go in and we would need to fix that. But you can just very easily fix something if it doesn't sound the way that you want. So you've got a lot that you can work with here. We've got playback speed. We've got our recorded audio. We've got all the things that you need in order to fix this up. And then if I needed to come in and leave a comment, I could say, fix the gap. And the people who are working with me in the team would then be able to go in and they would be able to remove this little gap here and use the blade and fix all of the things to make it sound a little bit more conducive to what we were going for inside of that script. So this is going to be a really good alternative for transcriptions. This is going to be a really good alternative for doing things like getting your um getting your articles read and you can actually put that inside of your website or your articles, or your blogs or your whatever. There's so much that goes on inside of this program. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. This is not the only thing that it does. You can actually edit videos. You can clip your videos. If you have filler words like um or 
if you go off track with something that you were saying and you want to remove that, or if you just want to change things up, or if you misspoke, you can change a single word and it transcribes all of that. And you just do it via the words on the screen. You just change those and it changes it for you. It is total game changer. We're going to continue our series on how you can be using description in your business to save a ton of time and effort and offer extra things to your clients as well. Hit the subscribe and notification bell because we're dropping videos daily to help you level up on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, in your live streaming and in your online business to save you time and effort so you can get back to what you love doing running your business, including working with programs like Descript to really, really take the time effort out of being present on social media. I'll see you in the next episode.